Hello gods and goddesses, Coco here. So I'm gonna first start off by pointing out that I'm burning the cinnamon. I'm using that to smudge the energy of this space. Um, cinnamon is good for bringing in abundance. Of course, if you are on TikTok, you know that cinnamon is very good in bringing that in. But it's also good for love and increasing the spiritual mood, you know, at times. Like when, when you need an, an uplift, burn some cinnamon. Of course, place your intention into it, but burn some cinnamon if you like the smell of cinnamon. Um, I will tell you that it doesn't always smell like cinnamon. For me, sometimes I don't get a, I don't get the cinnamon, the bold, that bold cinnamon aroma. Sometimes it's just smell, it, it has a, an aroma, it's just not always very cinnamony because <laughs> I'm not a big cinnamon fan, but I love burning cinnamon. Um, as promised, I have the crown chakra healing bowl, but I also have my um, third eye chakra healing bowl, the brow chakra, because there has been a lot of energy of cloudiness around the, the head space. Um, and also the vision, the third eye is connected to the vision to your perception of things, your your how, how you perceive things as well. So let's cleanse that energy. Um, adjust your volume if you would like to. And sit back and relax. Take some deep breaths. Um, I recommend doing three in through the nose, holding for one or two seconds, and exhaling deeply through the mouth for, for just till all the breath is gone. I was gonna say the three seconds, but sometimes you need to let all that breath out and it takes longer than three seconds. But inhale for three. Exhale, hold it and then exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. And continue on with that as I play the bowl for you.
ones that I got. The first one I'm going to start with is as I was playing the singing bowls, I heard Mind Over Matter. Um, and I feel like There needs to be some sort of spiritual bath or some sort of deep cleansing of the spirit, some sort of deep meditation or go into a deep prayer, something where you're like focusing all of your attention on your connection with yourself and your connection with God and Goddess. It's like there is something in the midst something is I just heard wreaking havoc but it's it it's not as bad as it seems it's not like um, okay so where I'm from this just came to mind where I'm from there yesterday there was an incident where there was a person going around shooting people and he was just randomly just going about going to different places just pointing his gun and shooting people it was like he was just out wreaking havoc you know ruining what could have been good days for those people and he just took it upon himself he had a spirit of wanting to cause harm to people and I feel like that that's a, a spiritual thing that's going on a spiritual energy that's going around in the collective like there's something going around trying to ruin moods trying to ruin blessings trying to block breakthroughs and the message is clear to stay grounded, to stay uplifted. Yes, feel your emotions. Feel what you feel. If, if something bothers you, if something upsets you, feel it. But work through it. Work through it. Move forward. Learn from it. And use that as fuel. You turn your pain into your power. You know, you use it for your good just like it's said that God means everything around us everything that happens to us and for us for the, for our greater good use that same logic to build upon making yourself spiritually secure I'm t what I'm what I was picturing was like um someone in a bulletproof vest like use it for for fortifying your your spiritual energy you know <sighs> so the fact that the crown chakra and the third eye chakra have been coming up foggy it's like that, that those chakras are our connection to god to goddess to source energy to our highest self and you know to that christ consciousness that if you haven't heard about it it's like it's supposed to be like this collective mind, this collective energy that all of us are tapped into if we so choose to be. And um, it's like dealing with clarity and having a clear vision of things. It's like something trying to throw that off. Something is in the air trying to throw that off. Um, a lot of um, astrologists are taking into the account that there's planets in, in retrograde which when planets go in retrograde it's said that things get thrown off track um, things come to the surface that have been hidden that we have not faced we just sweep it under the rug and when th when planets go into retrograde it, it, it digs that back up it's like rehatching things that never got fixed um, <sighs> So I feel like this energy is calling for you to have a brighter perspective of things, a brighter perception of things. Like, 
Um, and also, those two words were coming up a lot. Perspective and perception. It's like, okay, so really what's the difference? Like, yes, we know pers perception is how you see things, how you see things, like, as an individual. And your perspective is, in my opinion, also how you see things. But it's like, your okay so there is somebody out there that dabbles in semantics somebody that you know either does a lot of words research i was gonna say word search maybe you do word search i don't know but um or you do a, a lot of thinking you, you're an excessive thinker you like to learn maybe you're a sapiosexual I'm, i know i'm tapping into that energy and also the the oil that i used today in my diffuser is peppermint oil which is good for protection and prosperity and purification and things like that and i heard also in the channeling about gaining an optimistic outlook or sticking to optimism and it's like the message is to it's it's like this con consistent message of using your heart you know leading with love you know finding the the bright light or the silver lining and things like yes in in the incident that that I'm that I spoke about earlier yes he went out and ruined lives but also he was caught as well you know he 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 went on a rampant for a few hours but then he was caught so the silver lining is that that's over you know nobody else has to deal with that he will never harm another life you know and it's like even though things look bad or things can possibly be perceived as bad there's still some good that can be um, seen in the situations Let's get to the cards. Let's see what. Let's see what's going on in the energy. In this heavy. Let's see what's going on in this heavy energy. This energy of malice that's trying to steal the light and it can't steal the light it, it only takes a single spark a single flame to light up the darkness so it, it, it does not matter what it, what it looks like it won't win I heard speak your truth to the world, to God, to goddess, like, you are royal. So the two cards that came out. five other cards that came out. Let's 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 get this set up first. Thank you. 
just like you may be feeling foggy. It's like this reading is coming out foggy. It's like I almost want to stop. That's how I feel. It's like I almost want to just stop, take a break, and start over. But I'm going to keep going. And, and that may be the energy that you're in. It's like you may feel like you want to stop. Like, like, what's the point? Like, you know, it don't look good. It don't look like what I want it to look like. So what's the point? The point is, it's, it's, it's going to get there. It's like the energy feels heavy, but it's like there's good news. It's like it's like there's a veil. What I'm getting, what I'm picturing is on the Wizard of Oz when um, he was behind that curtain. It's like pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. It's like okay, but that, that's where the truth is behind that curtain. The truth is behind the curtain. You don't see it because it's veiled. God is trying to get you to, to focus on positivity. It's like it's like a preparation for where you're going. This energy is what wowed me. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Cornucopia. Look at all that abundance. Look at all that nourishment. All that light. All that growth. But it was after this. After that, that's when the cornucopia came in. It's like a, 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 a cleansing, you know, like a, a wiping away. Let me get this out the way. Okay, because, like, honestly, I, like, I could stop this reading and start over, but it's like... I feel like I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to just go on and let this continue. Let this reading work itself out. Let it play out the way that it's meant to play out. I just heard striving for perfection. So maybe, like like I was saying before, like you, you want things to look a certain way. So you keep like tinkering is the word that I heard. You keep tinkering with things. And it's, it's causing you to have like disruption within yourself, within the mind because of all that overthinking, over planning, over strategizing. It's like, yes, it's good to plan. It's good to have a, a blueprint of how you want things to go. But also if you ask God and God is the universe, if you ask for something, and then you keep tinkering with it, like, you know, how, how, how is it going to come into fruition if you keep changing it up, you keep adding on to it before you can actually get it. Okay, so let's get to these cards. <laughs> I feel like that there is something, it's like, this the energy that you've been feeling that's that that negative or that dark or that heavy feeling that you've been feeling has been trying to throw you off track you are supposed to be moving in a specific direction specific i feel like i said pacific but i know i didn't 
it just came out slow so specific <laughs> but there's like a specific direction you're supposed to be going in and something is trying to deter you from that it's trying to throw you off and make you think that no that's not the way you're supposed to be going but you know and you feel and you're good like yeah yeah i mean this is what it, what feels right to me it might it, it don't look like it because you know, I, I'm getting these obstacles, but it feels right. It still feels right. You know how sometimes you can go into a situation and it's like, mm -mm, this don't feel right. Uh -uh. I'm not. Uh, let, me move. let me get it together. But see, like, there goes that energy of perfection, like trying to get everything perfect when it don't need to be perfect. Th this setup is not for aesthetics this is this is this setup is for me to get the energy that i need to assist you to advise you and to to be able to hear spirit and yet i'm worried about how it looks to you on camera that's not the point it's like some that's that feels like someone's energy as well like i need it to look a certain way or if it don't look that way then it's it's, it's not right or if it don't go this way, then it's not right. But, but does it feel right, though? No matter what it looks like, does it feel right? <clears throat> so, I feel something moving in quickly. I just heard it's coming in hot. It's like something about your dreams something about what you're working for or working towards or maybe you had a dream about something maybe you are um someone who you you dream about things and then they could like eventually they actually happen it's like there's something that you dreamt about now don't forget it's a good thing it looked like one thing but it's actually a good thing so something that you dreamed about is coming into fruition. Or like I was saying before, it could be something you've been working for or um, a vision that you've seen for yourself, a vision that you have you know, been planning is coming into fruition, but it, it's not coming in the way that you think that it's going to come. It don't look like what you thought it was going to look like, and that's throwing you off. So... Another energy that I'm get, getting is about, um, okay, so this energy, <laughs> this energy right here feels confusing. So I just heard give time. It's time to give time instead of taking time, whatever that means for you. So maybe there's um, something that you've been, let me sit with this for a second. Let me break through this because if I'm not some, if I'm not one thing, I'm a warrior, I'm a fighter, I'm going to fight through. And so are you. I just heard it take a step back. So just like it's like it's like the energy of this reading is going exactly the way that your energy is going. It's like it's like all over the place, and, but you're still trying to you're trying to make it look one specific way. But that's not the point. But you know how do you feel? So focus on your feelings. That's like the main energy to focus on your feelings because the mind is so. There's so much going on in the mind that you need to redirect it to the feeling. Re redirect your attention to the feelings. Take some deep breaths. Meditate. I haven't done this in a while. I usually, when I, when I get cards, I usually you know use my intuition i usually listen to spirit but it's like i feel guided to get the book so let's look this one up and this says 
when this card comes up, it's time for you to take stock of your situation. Where are you and where do you want to go? The new moon energy of this card suggests a restart and the Virgo energy suggests you make the restart a clever one that's simple and well organized. Virgo has a strong health aspect to it, so if you've been unwell, this card suggests that your health is on the up. Virgo loves clean eating and alternative therapies, so add these into your routines now, however you've been feeling. If a situation is blocked at the moment, it could be that you're overanalyzing things or being too critical. It's time to ask less of what someone else can do for you and to think more about what you can do for others. It says gradual improvements are coming. Pay attention to detail if you want success. Be of service to others and love and money will follow. The, the main message that st stuck out the most was, you know, if you're feeling blocked at the moment, take a step back. Just like I was saying, like, there's this energy of cloudiness, of uncertainty. Like, I just, I'm like, I feel lightheaded right now. It's like, take, take a step back. Take your time. Because all things are divinely orchestrated anyway. Everything is working out in your favor. So just, just take your time. You don't have to rush. There is no time limit. You ain't late. You know, you, you right on time. You're just in time. So take some time to breathe and to relax and to allow things to flow into you. I see a lot of strength and protection behind you. I see a lot of love and support. But I, it's like... It feels like it's coming from from spirit, from God, from Goddess. I'm saying something about work and love, romance. So there may be some things about work that you need to take some time and step back on, or maybe there is a new business venture that you have been working to um, bring to the forefront it's like take a step back from it it's okay to take a step back from it and come up with a different strategy you know I, I just heard put more of you into it you don't have to do things the way that other people do it you know you don't have to change how you're doing things in that manner but put more of you into it. Be be yourself. I just heard divine feminine. So um, I'm feeling like the, the sacral chakra may be a bit off as well. So it's like as you're as you're clearing your crown chakra and your third eye chakra. Also work on your lower chakras as well. Gain balance. I'm hearing that when when your cornucopia comes in for you, that there is going to be a moment where you feel like it's too much. <laughs> I just that saying where two 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 is T E W I think they said it's too this too much. No, it's not too much. You can handle it. It's like yes, you you've been waiting on this all this time. You've been waiting on your your ships to come in, and then when they come in, you get scared. Don't get scared. Be strong. Don't be scared. Mm -hmm. Be strong. And if you ever feel off balance or you feel like you need a pick-me-up, just pray and meditate and go to spirit about it. <laughs> I've never felt like this in reading before. This feels like, I don't know. 
It, it, it just feels this energy is strong. I'm gonna tell you that it feels like for one, you powerful. <laughs> you you are powerful spiritually. You are strong. Like in, in the 3D, you are a strong person. You probably always keep on that um, that that face where nobody really knows what's going on with you, but deep down or inside, you like have this internal battle going on. Okay, so usually when I pull from this deck, I like to read the incantation that's with it. This I, I call it an incantation because that's what it is for me. But it's just like a little um little phrase that they put into the box. Love has the power. Love has the power to transform and change our lives. All that it requires is faith, for faith gives love power. I know the main thing that I'm feeling is to take when you take that step back that, that don't mean stop keep going just you know collect take a step back collect yourself and then get back to the regularly scheduled program why can't get that word out right regularly regularly scheduled program <laughs> but you know it's like everybody needs a break everybody deserves a break Two more. Okay, so we have responsibility. This card is giving very much crown chakra and third eye chakra vibes. Do what feels right for you above all else. It is impossible to please all parties in the present situation. You have responsibility only for your own life and actions. Others must take responsibility for themselves. Then we have positive outcome. That is giving root and sacral chakra vibes. I think I see a little solar plexus in there too. There is hope. Don't give up now. Have faith. Trust. The forces of love are at work behind the scenes. Look at that. Behind the curtains. Behind the scenes. Look. Do you see for yourself? It's like behind the scenes. Expect a joyous and positive outcome. That's, that's that cornucopia that's coming for you. Okay. Positive outcome. Cornucopia. It, it, it looks one way. But that's not, it, it don't matter. It don't matter what it looks like. Then we, ha we have La Natura. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This card is giving um, Empress vibes. Empress or I, I will say Emperor if you are a man and you don't want to be called an Empress. Even though it's just energy. It's not about male or female. But it's like, um, I'm just going to read it. You will give birth to something new, something beautiful. An idea manifests. The beginning of a new and wondrous journey. Blessings. See, I'm trying to tell you, like, keep going through this. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm going, I always watch my videos, but I'm going to watch it over. But I know this video was all over the place. This reading, this energy was all over the place because that's the energy that I'm picking up. But it, it's not, it's, that's not real. It's not what it seems like. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, okay? It's not what it looks like. You have a cornucopia coming forward to you. That legacy that you're trying to build for your family, for yourself, is coming. It's at the door, matter of fact. It is at the door. It's at the door. This came out too. I didn't I didn't mention this one because 
I know that a lot of people don't want to hear about love. Like, I'm getting that vibe, like, I'm trying to get myself together. I'm not, I mean, like, I want love. Um, or even if you're in a relationship, it's like, I don't really have time to focus on love. I want to, I got to get my, I got to get my shit together first. But it's like, door to romance. It's, it's always time for love. Love for yourself. Love for those around you. Just, just unconditional love. It's always time for love. It, that's why it snuck on in here. <laughs> that just snuck. I was like, I'm gonna sit here, and I ain't gonna say no. I'm not. I'm just gonna leave it to the side. And then John still was like, uh, uh, you're not finna, you're not finna um, put me to the side. Like I'm a redheaded stepchild. No offense to the redheaded stepchild children. That was just a saying. But just keep going keep fighting through it you are a fighter you are a warrior you can make it through anything because you have you know you made it through everything that you've been through anything that has come your way you beat it it might have you know put up a good fight <laughs> it did but you still won so just keep going look at the this last one this is the overall energy This is the overall energy that there is newness coming forward to you. Matter of fact, newness is already here. It's already here. That's why everything looked crazy. Like I just heard practice make perfect. Like you don't you can't just jump into something and you know, not have a, a shake a shaking about before you get to the bigger picture like I'm, I'm picturing that um when I um I, is it a, a <laughs> what who is that person when they dig up stuff it's some it's an ant something I can't get the words I can't my my brain I'm having a brain fart but if that person that digs things up and they have this little um <laughs> strainer type of thing where they drop the things in it and they strain out all the dirt all the things that they don't need that excess stuff and then it's only left with what matters you know that that's what this moment that's what this moment in your life is right now a shaking about a shaking up a clearing out for your new direction life may not <laughs> i don't know i just i don't know I was going to say, my life may not seem how you want it to, but that's not what the card says. Life may seem like a whirlwind at the moment, yet there is a divine order to the present circumstance. What may appear as chaos is often angelic forces of the universe at work. After the storm clears, you will be steered in a new direction, a time of renewed health, joy, and abundance. Yeah. The message is clear. Don't fall for the hype. Don't pay. It's like you know how people, some people say don't don't pay attention to the to, to the news. Like people who don't watch the news, it's like it's just you. It, what is going on is a trick. It's a trick from the opposing forces who don't want to see you get to where you are going. They want you to stay where you were so that you won't make the impact on the world that you are meant to make. Because the impact on this world that you are going to make, you, hold on, hold on, you, <laughs> the impact that you are going to make, I don't even know if I was in the camera right, you probably just saw the top of my head, but it don't matter. The impact that you are meant to make on this world is a huge one. It's so big. It's like people are going to know you. People are going to know your name. And if they already know your name, more people are going to know your name. It's giving star qualities. It's giving celebrity status. Okay? So stay vigilant. I just heard stay humble, but I don't like when people say stay humble because if, if you worked hard to get to where you're going or where you are, 
What you need to be humble for? As long as you're compassionate and respectful of others, what you need to be humble for? You work for that shit. <laughs> but anyway, that's another story for another day. So, so I hope that even though this message was all over the place and long for no reason, I hope that you got some messages out of it that are helpful to you. Some sort of confirmation or, or something. I, I just saw 444. Keep going. You got this. I promise you got this. Just keep going and fight through it no matter what it looked like. Because it's going to be okay. I promise. I promise. You can come back and tell me about it if you want to. But it's going to work out. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Feel free to like. Subscribe. Share. Comment. Email me book me whatever you need whatever you want to do however you want to show love you know i appreciate you i love you god loves you and please love yourself love others share love give love be love okay i say i will be one of the greatest that is a vow yeah that is a promise always wanted to be famous just being real yeah just